June 18, 1973. Nobody watching this has any idea how much of a pain in the arse this was to set up. This might be the most primitive game I've set up to stream or to record in a long time. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Bendy have a bow tie before. I don't remember Bendy ever having a bow tie. For a little adventure. I did play through the other one like completely. With Strat, although he got terrified by a cardboard car, which was quite amusing. What's this here? Employee of the Month Award to Audrey. Is that us? Are we Audrey? We are Audrey. Oh yes. Beautiful big eyes. Well better to see you with but yes, we're in Joey Drew Studios where everything isn't quite as neon gold as it was it will be when we can return here as a Who do, who's the main character of the uh, Ink Machine again? Was it Henry Stein? I think it was. Uh -huh. oh vending machine, what have we got here then? We have a cola. Seven I guess that's supposed to be seven up. Spurts. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Uh, this here and then root beer because of course America and your obsession with root beer. Ominous chair I just left late in the place. Hmm. Ah, Alice Angel. Basically the Betty Boop of the Joey Drew universe. Nathan Arch. Is that, is that not ominous for some reason? Like, why is there just like a glowing red of ball of light? Clearly illuminating probably one of the worst rendered shadows I think I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. Typewriter, typewriter. If we were animators, what's all the typewriters? What have I got here? We have Alice Angel baking a pie to which a chomper is coming out and chasing Bendy. Hmm. The id. February 12th. Hmm. Something pie. Spear pie. Spear pie, I don't know. Seal. So, uh, I can't really make that out. Hmm. Is that Bendy or is some sort of other character? I do not know. What's yours then? Uncle Sal's Pizzeria. Hmm. They had Domino's yesterday. Five full pizzas all to myself. I am the fat bastard. Really? They locked me in. Good thing I brought my own key today. Alright. I'm guessing the key's back at my office. Again, are you not concerned about this? If this was going on at my work, I'd be quite concerned. Actually, no, I wouldn't be concerned because my work, the lights like that go off all the fucking time, so. Oh, here we go. I really wish Strat was playing this with me. He would have screamed like he'd. He would have screamed like he did when the one popped around the corner. He legitimately screamed at that. Like, as loud as I've ever heard him scream, he fell backwards out of his chair. From the whole around the corner thing. The boop. From the last game. But there's the keys. Look, here. Here's the key. If you hear the occasional hiss, it's me working my way through a litre bottle of Iron Brew 18, so, hmm. That Iron Brew 18, like, I, I'll drink it, but it really annoys me because it's, it's basically just Iron Brew. The like, Iron Brew is the same recipe for years upon years. They changed the recipe to avoid the sugar tax. Which I don't know why, like, I would, I would happily pay more just for the regular boring iron brew. In fact, if, if nothing, iron brew 18 has proven that, that people would pay more just for the real recipe. But they market it as like, oh, it's the original recipe and have like a paper label on the glass bottle. It's... Ugh. Even the cans, the cans are done up like the old-fashioned cans, like the really old, old ones. Like, it's all just to give some fake nostalgia. Which is then gratified because you drink it and you realise, oh yeah, this is, this is the taste. I remember it from like two years ago. I say two years ago, it's been five years now since they changed the Iron Brew. I'll never understand that, the sugar tax. Like, whose bright idea was that in the first place? 
And if you're wondering if I'm going to be rambling through all of this, yes, because I don't get scared. Like, that's why I play horror games. I tell if there are onions. Bendy is actually one of the few uh, games... Most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Hmm. Bendy is one of the few games that I did not give an onion rating to, mainly because I really like this story. I can't remember it now, but... Uh, Is someone there? Hmm. Well, I would assume someone is there, considering the washing up cart was just pushed around. Like, I doubt anyone wouldn't be here if that happens. If that just happens in your office and no one's there, I suggest working somewhere else. I'm going to get in here and someone's going to burst out that door, isn't there? Nope. Yep, I'll press this button and someone's going to come bursting at that door. Watch. Not. Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little company. <coughs> I guess work. I guess work hit a little bit hard so, since the Berlin Wall came down, Mr. Kremlin. It's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. I better not be able to become another statistic. What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot these past few days. No need to fret. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Why, like... Why is he hobbling like that? I guess I have to walk into darkness. I am not allowed to walk into darkness, okay then. Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. All right. Mr. One Eye. Joey Drew, the man and the demon. Joey Drew there looking a little bit less like Walt Disney, a little bit more like Oswald Mosley, but nevertheless there he is. Joey Drew, 1901 to 1971. Joey Drew was a founder of the studio and the man who created Bendy, one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all time. In 1929, with the help of his business partner Henry Stein, main character from the first game, he created Bendy's first short film, Little Devil Darling, as an early talkie cartoon. As his entertainment legacy grew over the years, Joey's optimism and, pion and pioneering spirit never wavered. Starting with the little pencil and nothing but a dream, and create a studio here at Arscape Pictures. We strive to continue his dream and see Bendy live on. Dreams come true. Unless, of course, you're the man who you're based off of, in which case, no. They get stolen by Walt Disney. That is actually legitimately just a Walt Disney painting. That is actually just a Walt Disney painting. This was like. Joy. I mean, like. <laughs> Ugh. The illusion of living. Wait, hold on. Illusion of living. Ink pot. What are those things you had to collect, like, in the first game? Bendy sing-along. <laughs> that, that, 
that record has been that that's an audio file that hurts me to look at. That actually hurts the brain. Ugh. What's this here? Silly Vision. Silly Vision is a cartoon format developed by Joey Drew that allows it for animated cartoons to be completed more efficiently by streamlining the pencil and inking stages and allowing for the last minute adjustments to be made directly on the film stock itself. The film was chemically coated to allow a specifically formulated ink to be applied by an artist working on a magnifying table. This allowed for the adjustments, action, enhancements or even a whole new character to be added. The cartoon had been photographed. Mr. Drew intended the format to be used someday to create interactive experiences where cartoons could be custom altered to fit the occasion for the audience. So basically rotoscoping. Yeah. Because that isn't the person that, like, Joey Drew is based off of basically invented rotoscoping. Hmm. Yes, now I must talk to you, Mr. Slender. You know, I'm mocking the way he looks, but, like, by the time I'm, I'm his age, I'm going to be, like, a really short version of him. As a hobbling skeleton. I like how I mention, like, the, the, podium, the podiums from the first game, and here they are. And... That's the ink machine. Hmm. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. I never trust a man who literally goes, I will tend to the power. As he like clenches his fist over to one side, like, ugh, yes, and then I'm going to go and get the offerings to turn on the ink machine and kill myself. Alright, here's the wrench. If I remember right, it was a wrench, a cog, a book, ink, a plush. What else? A book. Bench, cog, music, ink, plush. So yeah, missed the music. I'm guessing the record's the music. Yep. Ugh. Plush. Okay, and the book, The Illusion of Living. It's like the Necronomicon, but for cartoon characters. You know, I do, but I actually would read that. Like, if somebody was to rewrite the entirety of the Necronomicon, but with, like, demonic versions of, like, classic cartoon characters, as opposed to actual, like, Lovecraftian monsters, I would totally fucking read that. Oh, guessing this is it. Yep, there it is. Hey, is that everything? That's here. Bendy goes bankrupt. Oh, shame. I think that's everything now, right? The illusion of living. A random wrench. Random gear that did nothing. Long dead ink. Broken record. And a plush toy that I would totally buy. Only one thing left to do. And what would that be, oh, Mr. Freaky? Alright. You're welcome. I shall... I don't know. What's going to happen here? Yeah, hey, let's try and guess what's going to happen here. The ink machine is going to turn on and basically turn this factory into the golden thing that it is in like the uh, the uh, next game, or the first game rather I should say. And we're going to be trapped in a cartoonified room. It is done. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. The things you've set yep. in motion. Get everything. Let 
You could have baptized me in the ink. It's all getting very bios talk infinitely. <laughs> 